Hi everybody and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. My name is Aton and today I will be showing you this effect with the clock hands spinning and I took this from a still image so um, I'll just be going through how to do this little effect here. So let's get started. So I got an image of just a clock just online and so the first thing we're gonna have to do is just get rid of these hands. So that's not quite as easy as it might seem and I had a tutorial on object removal a few weeks ago so I'm not gonna go through the real um, the real challenges of this and how I did all of it. I'm just gonna do a, um, a basic version and in that tutorial a few weeks ago I demonstrated two different methods. A method where you duplicate mask so I'm just gonna take a little area down here and then drag that up on top and then you can also use the clone stamp tool so I used a mix of both when I was um, getting this clock to look and you can see it's not perfect in a few areas but I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. People aren't going to be analyzing it that closely, and there's going to be something else on the face of the clock here, which is going to be the hands. So you don't have to worry about the details, especially right towards the center there, um, because there's going to be something sort of covering it up anyway. So what I did is I just duplicated a bunch of these, brought them around, and then when we got pretty close to like the corners here, this is where I went in opened up the clone stamp tool, double clicked on this bottom layer, and then I alt clicked somewhere where it's just white, and then sort of just drew on top. And so a lot of this will um, just cover up everything, then make this part fully black, etc. throughout the whole thing. Obviously this took a while to get everything completely out so I'm just gonna go ahead and go over here to this finished um, finished version not show you all that but if you want a more detailed way of seeing how I did that then you can definitely check out the tutorial I did a few weeks ago on object removal I think I called it basic object removal okay so now we have to add back in the hands and make them be able to spin around however we want them so I'm gonna add another copy of this base footage and what I'm gonna do this time is just mask out I'll go around this little thing just mask out this hand of the clock okay so we have a little a rough mask there, and then I'll just scale this down a little bit. Good, okay. So we're going to want to use the pan behind tool, which is going to be that one right there, to move this anchor point right into the center of wh wherever the wheel thing is, because this is the point that it's going to rotate around when you hit rotate, so um, we want to make this the point right there because on a real clock it would rotate right around that point too. So now that we've moved that with the pan behind tool we can go back to our standard tool and if I hit R we can rotate it around and you can see that it rotates directly around that anchor point. So now we have one hand so now we're just gonna have to we'll, we'll make sure this is directly in the center so I'm just gonna bring up a little grid here that's um that's yeah I think that's about right okay so I'll put the grid back down okay so now that we have that officially set up we're gonna duplicate that and you could take the other hand of the clock but I think it makes more sense to just take this one rotate it around and then depending on which hand you want to be the bigger or the smaller one you can adjust size wise. So I think we'll have the bigger hand up top and the smaller hand below. And then, oh, let me actually make this a little 
bigger. Okay, there we go. So then we'll add a drop shadow to both. I'm just going to drag this on both different ones. I don't mind this preset. It's actually a nice little um, thing. I might soften it a little, though. That'll just help make it feel a little bit more natural. Okay, so now what we can do is just if we want this to sort of spin around, we can keyframe the rotation. So we have both the hand saw set a keyframe for the beginning, and then so say by two seconds, we're gonna want a smaller hand to ro to have rotated all the way around, and the larger hand to move up one number. So now we can see that our clock spins around just like a real clock. So. I'm going to end the composition right there, and then I'm going to add some motion blur. So on both of those, and then make sure it's enabled in the whole composition. And so now we have a spinning hands on a clock from just an original 2D image of a clock. So this technique is, um, is an interesting technique because you can use it on lots of different things. I mean, don't just think of it as, oh, now I know how to make a clock spin around, but... This is about isolating the different elements, making them, you know, like with this, we had to move the anchor point so that it spins around that anchor point. So you can use these types of things on many different effects. So thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to you. So thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.